Curse of the Dead Gods is a Hades-like, an action RPG. Uh, it does separate itself from Hades in a number of ways in terms of combat. Visually, initially, you look at it and you'll think, oh, this looks like another Hades clone, right? Similar to like when we played Dandy Ace. Uh, but I will tell you with confidence that you cannot get away with some of the shit you get away with in Hades in Curse of the Dead Gods. Also, there's a number of really cool... Uh, ways that they kind of throw spins into your runs uh twist i say spins not necessarily like um like buffs debuffs it's a little bit of both uh using their corruption system so we'll explain all that as we go uh I, the first couple bosses were pretty easy um and i'm i'm not like great <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's because well, I'm just too good for this game. Uh, I think the game is kind of giving you a little bit so that way you don't feel like you're grinding against the first couple of bosses. Uh, but again, first couple bosses were pretty easy. I got uh, halfway through the first dungeon on my first run. Uh, then I did number two, number three on run, I think two and three. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's but there's now there's like level, th uh, there's a second tier that it's unlocked. And so I feel like this is where the difficulties are starting to ramp up a little bit. They just want to give you a couple of, of currencies. You can start unlocking things, um, which makes progression pretty nice. Now, uh, the game is available on Steam, $19.99. Uh, visually, it's fantastic. Uh, when I first saw it, I was kind of, ooh, it's kind of like a somewhere between Hades and Torchlight, right? <laughs> Without the cell shading, uh, as you can see. Um, it does play, I mean, this is an action action RPG. You do have, let me just go over here and, uh, see, oh, you know, I have a block. So I, you'd have an action block, right? An active block. It's only for like a brief, that glint is like all you get. Like seriously. So it's really, really, really hard to, uh, time that for me anyways. Um, which is why I thought the game was kind of easy because I was just failing that left and right. <laughs> and I still managed to beat the first couple bosses. So I'm going to go and you have a roll as well. Notice that the uh, the little dots underneath your uh, your, your uh, human there is is uh, depleting. That is your stamina, so you have to watch that. Um, you do have your attacks are basically bound to your buttons. So I have a slice, I have a shoot, and I have a torch uh, to start. Now I I have unlocked two of these things because of my progress that I've made, and I put points into here, uh, which has allowed me to do so. Uh, let me see. Uh, I have uh, yeah. I should only have two. Uh, I can actually unlock some more. Let me go and. Uh, Ooh, wait a minute though. Grant greed kills restore one more stamina. Greed kills are when you uh, combo kills, basically. You kill one, you kill another, right? Uh, and you get more money the more you kill in a row. It's a multiplier. So restoring one more stamina is pretty great because I'm constantly running out of stamina, which I think is the point of the game. You have to manage that. Um, you So you have, these are all basically perks that you can take with you that, that impact you in such a way, right? So like traps deal 100% more damage to enemies, uh, gain a thousand gold and 5% at the start of your exploration, which is pretty handy because things do cost money or they could cost corruption. Uh, in the early game, it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. But I'm sure in the late game, it's gonna or the mid game, it's gonna start picking up quite a bit. Uh, these coins, you get these coins or these rings. Uh, I've only got them from killing bosses, so I'm pretty sure that's where you get them. Um, but you also only get these other this other currency, the upper right corner, you could see. Can you get my mouse on there? No, I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Uh, this currency here is seems to be only viable, available from bosses as well. So uh, that might this might kind of change or alter as you're playing, as you continue. Uh, but as it stands right now, it seems like it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty easy. So you got Forsaken Weaponry, weaponry you basically unlock things, you can find them in the, in the, in your run. So, like, if you find something you like, you can be like, okay, and get us some claws. Okay, main weapon, uh, fire attacks, 13 damage, cool, cool. Uh, I see a pistol, perfect shots deal damage to all targets and a cone behind impact. That's pretty sick, let's go ahead and unlock that. Doesn't mean you'll get it right away, it just means that you can find it during your run. This is typical of these types of roguelike, um, roguelite, uh, ARPGs. Uh, and then restore altars. So you notice I have two altars with weapons sitting on them. That's because I put uh, like 10 points in this. Clearly they want you to spend those those first 10 points here quickly to get that option uh, because it quickly ramps up to like 10, 100. And uh, these ones are 50 and then another 50 in the secondary weapons, right? So, and it says right here, upgrade altars. Uh, have a 75% chance of offering a common uh, secondary weapon. So just get basically better starting stuff. Most of these games, they don't want—they don't want you to fail endlessly. You know, they want you to be able to um, slowly get stronger and stronger. Here's my first collection of weapons I could, I could swap to from my main sword and pistol. Uh, chip dagger, secondary weapon, no ability. Now that's going to be a melee weapon. That's not a thrown dagger. And then blunt claws, no ability, nothing. Uh, I want to take this out for a spin though. Stone hammer and a worn shield. Kind of interesting to take a shield out. Uh, did I? Let me see. Shield. 
I can kind of keep it on hand. There we go. We sword and board this thing. Let's do it. So here's where you're gonna go and choose where you want to go. Uh, like I said, these two are easy. This is where I got like about halfway through, 44% right there. Um, and then I died. This one's zero deaths. This one's zero deaths. So there you go. See, I didn't lie. Uh, I, I'd imagine this is probably gonna be harder. So let's go ahead and give this a shot, and then we'll see what happens to me. <laughs> also, there's this events here. Maybe we'll do this as well. This is, this is pretty interesting. Just popped up, and it said, uh, "Escape from your worst nightmare. Fear, uh, permanent fear, permanent hallucinations, and infested hosts. Uh, you lose all sense of direction." So the hallucinations basically your screen goes black and white, like an old movie film, um, and it will. Uh, and you get so you can't see your UI or anything like that. It's it's, it's very disorienting. Let me see weapon. So you choose your first path. Right? If some of this feels very much like Spelunky too. I don't know, maybe it's the aesthetics or something. Uh, so you get to choose where you want to go. You go unknown, uh, weapon guarantee, or gold. I, I, because I'm not starting with gold, I'm going to go with gold. So we can start building up some cash. And I'll probably go up left here to get uh, these attributes and then probably get some more golds. And then I might need some health. Maybe go over there. And then upgrade. And then here. And then rune. And then in. Or something like that. Let me see. Just let me scroll up. Yeah, there's a lot of. Yeah, this is a, this is a big. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, it's a midway boss. Oh, snap. This might be really challenging. Cool. Because there's times, I mean, I, I just because I beat the first two bosses doesn't mean that I did, you know, stellar. <laughs> I, I fumbled through it for the most part. And I was just kind of like, Psh, I can make it for breakfast on this. I'm already got this game down. All right, here we go. So the light is a very important thing. Because if I don't have the light, you don't see squat. You don't see traps. You don't see enemies. Well, enemies are dimmer, but there's also debuffs that will make it so you don't see enemies at all, which is sweet. Uh, so you want to keep that thing out. You could you could light uh, braziers like this one here. We're going to light this guy up, and then we'll step back here. We'll get our sword and board out. Whoa, watch out for that. That is a corruption, uh, a, a corruption uh, attack. So you don't want to get stuck with that for sure. Whoa. Because it won't, I don't think it'll do health damage. I think it just does corruption damage. Which, the more corruption you have, you get a curse once you hit 100. Dang it. Oh. You get a curse once you hit 100. You don't want that. Because, well, the curses just basically add extra variables to your gameplay. So if you have a pretty good build going, cur little curses will probably, uh... Whoa. Throw a wrench in that. Now, there is a uh, strong attack. Go back up here. Ah, oh, dang it. So earlier I said that the game does differ greatly from, uh, in terms of combat from Hades, right? There's obviously the active stuff and all that, but, um, one of the biggest things is in Hades, you can, uh, break people from attacking you. You can, like, break their attacks, um, in most cases. Uh, you can't do that here. Once they charge up an attack, like, you have to dodge or block. So it forces you to not go in just hacky slashy all over the place. You're gonna want to... Uh, chill a little bit, let them throw an attack, get them off balance, and then go after them. So it changes the way that you approach combat. So let's see, passing through a door inflicts 25% less corruption. Ooh, that's pretty nice, actually. Or I can offer to the gods to get plus one constitution, which would give me uh, a bunch of health. I think it's probably maybe 100 health or something like that. Um, I'll go ahead, just for the purposes of... Oh, wait, this is a long run. Hmm. We'll go ahead and take it. <laughs> I was going to say, for the purposes of uh, demonstration, I'll go ahead and uh, just take extra corruption, but... But nah, some gold laying on the ground over here. We're just gonna roll through this. Get all this money. 215 gold. Not a lot. I think there's some in the bottom left corner, but it's okay. Yeah, most things are gonna cost you probably about uh, starting at about like 700 or so. Somewhere around there. Okay. Oh, there's traps too, by the way. That guy's blunt. Gonna blow up. Enemies do da enemy damage. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know he turned on his attack. So, enemies can't damage themselves. They could be damaged by their own traps. Oh, man. Here we attack. Some of it is about learning what the tells are in terms of what they're broadcasting their next attack's gonna be. What type? Watch out for that thing over there. This thing holds money, I think. No, this is a uh, Brazier. We can light it up. No point in necessarily getting them all lit. I mean, before a fight, sure. <laughs> 20% base damage for swords. Ooh, man, I don't have a sword. I probably won't get one anytime soon. But it's a long run, so let's take it anyways. There's some money here. You could use the torch to get that. Yeah, you'll find money sometimes in... In the things. Woo! In vases and pots and whatnot. Money here. 
This is an offering here? Nope. Okay, nothing for us. So if you're in the dark, you actually take more damage. So that's something to watch out for. Um, there are there are modifiers to that that you'll get also while you're playing. Uh, oh, a pole arm or a spear rather. I haven't used one of these yet. Restore four percent max health or give or uh, take it. Let's take it. Gonna replace. Oh, that's right. This is an extra weapon. Okay, yeah. So the weapons give you. Uh, they sit on another um, button. Your B button here. Let's see what its charge attack looks like. Ooh, sexy. I like it. So every time you go through a door, notice I have 20, uh, I already have 20, uh, uh corruption. Because every time you go through, you take a bit of corruption. Now I'm only taking 15 because it's 25% less, right? So, instead of going through five rooms and getting a guaranteed corruption, I could get a, get a little bit of a break and go through six rooms. It's a trap right there, you can see it on the left. Jesus. Now the game is tile-based, I've seen this specific tile before. This is actually the first time I've seen a tile that I just, just distinctly rem remember. Actually, this whole, yeah, all the way up to this point here. Yeah, that was all copy pasta. <laughs> I mean, which games like this is kind of the way, the kind of the way of the design. Okay, let me see if I can, what I, if I can do a range attack from here. Oh, dang it. Back up here. They can't attack through those rocks, by the way. Let's go over here near the fire. That way I don't take so much damage. Blocks! Oh, baby, I finally, finally, greed kill stacks! Oh! Oh, the greed kill buff went away. Dang. Oh, jeez. Going right to the heart. Oh, let's put this thing out. Because there are spike traps and such, and seriously, the game will not render them for you. It's not about, like, is it too dark to see? The game does not render them for you. <laughs> if you don't have your, your torch out, the game is punishing in that regard. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of corruption infliction guys, inflicting dudes. The light is maze is possible here. We're gonna have to get into a fight, I think, right here. Yep. Whoa! Jeez. Watch out, watch out, watch out. This is gonna light these up, actually. Oh, dang. So yeah, we can light we can light enemies up. And they'll stay lit. Which is pretty nice because that will actually light the area around you. Pretty sick, actually. Good. Another weapon drop. Oh, it dropped my weapon? No no no. That's uh Oh, it's another one. What's oh, the same it's the same exact thing. We can offer the gods to get some health back. There we go. Look at him, I'm so generous. Okay, there's a trap right there. That one was revealed to me, which is kind of nice. Oh, it's not a trap. Dang it. I'm trying to see if I could get a trap to not show up and then show it to you guys without necessarily triggering it on accident. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I have 885 gold, which is awesome. Uh, because at these offering points, you can give uh, you can give gold or you could give blood. And blood is corruption. However, there's a modifier that will make it so it's not corruption. It'll actually take blood, which means health. Um, let me see, 750, so this is going to be 10% damage and 25% treasure fine. So I'm, I'm going to get that one for sure. Like, this, this is a no-brainer. Yeah, no-brainer. I can could, I could afford it, I'm taking it. So, offer gold. Keep that corruption down, baby. Let's see. Nothing in here looks shiny. We'll go. But overall, I'm, like, really enjoying this game. Like, oh, this is a lot, it's a lot of fun. Um... And, you know, I love Dandy Ace. Dandy Ace is like, that's the one I'll play with chat, right? I'll let chat punish me in Dandy Ace. This is the game I would play just on my own, right? Because it is like, it's it's challenging, man. Like, you you have to, um, well, okay, I know I just said it's easy, but I mean, like, in terms of mastering combat itself, you actually get at the end of your run, it'll tell you how many perfect blocks you've had. They take it seriously. <laughs> they mean that shit. They take it seriously. And later on, it's probably going to be something you really want to want to master. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn, too, too slow. He's done. Gonna shell up here. Oh, damn! Oh, damn, I 
I blocked. I thought I blocked it too. Can I block on the attack? Yeah, I can. So you could break your okay, you could break your attack with a block. So that was just me mistiming it. I'm telling you, it is it is tight, very tight. Come on, come on, closer, closer, closer. Read kill times two. Next is 100%. Right bumper get through there. Oh, that's a poison trap. Another one right there. Not active, not active, not active. Okay, good. Now watch that Brazier right there. Because you can, you can damage it, like break it, straight up break it. Ugh. The music awesome too. They do a really good job with the uh, took a little poison damage there. Let me light these guys up so I can actually see. Oh, the brazier is gone, by the way. So there, that's what I want to show you. <laughs> Hold on, light these guys up again. Oh, Jesus. Well, I got them both anyways. Some poison damage. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, while the uh. The dungeons feel very linear, we just kind of go room to room to room. Uh, there have been times where I've very clearly had an option, like multiple outs per room. So it, they, they will allow you to uh, take multiple routes through it, but ultimately you end up to the same room in the end. And there's no way to know what's on the other side, by the way. You just basically go through and hope for the best. Okay, out of range. Come on over, come on over, come on over. Oh. So bad. Oh, jeez. Just die. Just die. Is there any money here? No. Let's go. I'll get my butt kicked. Whoa. Okay. Ah, that's the last room. Yes. Uh, I can't afford it. But I can donate a little bit of corruption. In this case, 40, 10% damage, 25% treasure fine. Damn. That's a lot of, this is a, uh, let's just do the damage. Cause I don't want to necessarily, yeah. Cause if I do this, I'm going to immediately, that's going to be 90. And the next door I open is going to give me a curse. Don't worry, you're going to see a curse. <laughs> I got a good record going, man. All right. So let's not, uh, let's not push it. That's a brazier. Okay. Healing. Oh, gosh. I go to healing. Oh, I don't have a lot of options after that. Once you go this way, that's it, right? So, yeah, we'll go here. This is just a, a straight up a room that's going to offer me healing in exchange for corruption. So, we are going to get a curse after this. We'll go over here. It's right bumper. That's probably good enough. Now, again, we're going to go through and we're going to be... Uh, we're going to get our first curse. And we want one place to go. Upgrade. Let's see what it says. Divine Pact. Says one of your relic slots is locked and may no longer be equipped. You gain three divine favors. Hold up. I haven't seen this one. One of your relic slots is locked. Is aren't these the relic slots? Mm hmm. Oh, this one here. And you gain three divine favors. So what are my divine favors? It's gonna that I get in exchange. Hmm. I don't know. Um. But yeah. So relic is uh one two three four five six, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna run out. So well, if I get that far. Overall, I mean, it's gotta be uh it's gotta be good, right? Because I mean, the bottom one is always the good part. <laughs> the top one is always a negative. The bottom one is a positive. So I guess it has to be good. Don't break my brassiere. Okay. Poison. Poison these dudes. Let line on fire, whatever. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. There we go. That guy's going to die to a trap right there. Splat. And that triggers my... Greed. Whoa.
that should trigger all of them. Oh, green kill eight though. Oh, it would have been so much more. This guy does a swing and another swing, I think. Oh, Jesus. The music on hit is so good. <laughs> that little sound they play on top of the actual hit. So much impact. Yo! Give me that. 30% damage lightning attacks, which includes my alarm. Are these uh, things now? Okay, that's just leftover stuff. I can't believe I've not seen any spike traps so far. What the heck? Um, it might be actually due to the rooms type, like the, the ru ru ruins type. All right, here we go. I uh, can get a, an upgrade. So he removes one corruption for each enemy killed. Oh, interesting. This one is a 30% damage while in darkness. Even more interesting. Okay, hold up. 1% base damage per constitution. That's definitely a no. Gosh, removing one corruption for every enemy killed. This is like a long haul upgrade right there. But 30% damage on darkness. Oh, can't pass it up. <laughs> it would have been smarter to take the other one, I think. But I mean, 30% damage in darkness is pretty sick. Nah, I can't. Now I don't have to fear the darkness. Let me see. Uh, well, both are unknown, so we'll go to the middle one that we have options after this. Then we're going to get to the first boss. Woo! Oh, see how he's lit now? Kind of keeping the area up. Let me get it out of the light here so I can get more damage. Ooh, yeah! Look at all this money! Money, money, I could have used just a second ago. So I could go that way or I could go this way. But this way has money, so I'm going to go this way because I'm greedy. Watch out for the tentacles. This and grab this and then shoo. Light him up. And then we'll get over here. We can kind of ease it in out of the. Uh, wah! Damn it! See, that was a direct hit, and they still attack. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Nothing. Nope. Okay. Don't know what to expect going to this next boss. It's gonna be a different boss. It's all my shit talking is gonna come back to haunt me, I'm sure. Okay, this is an interesting room. I've seen this tile. Um oh no what? Never mind. Oh that's the that's the way, yeah. So I could have gone a different direction before, remember? And that's where it would have brought me in. So all points pretty much lead to the same. Whoa. Put you on the same path eventually. Oh, that was a smaller room. I've seen a couple of these tiles like that where it's like multiple rows of traps. That's a poison pool over there, left and right. Oh, whoa, teleports. Come over here. Push him into the poison. He's gonna take poison damage? Well, I guess maybe not because he spawns literal poison. Zerglings. Oh! Banelings. My bad. Oh, great. Oh, what is that? Uh, Whispering Ages. 25% chance to automatically trigger a parry. Ooh. Hey, I like that because I'm not triggering shit by myself. This is poison I'm in, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, one, one, one. Okay. This is a sexy. Look at that thing. Wow. Another shield thing. Okay, we'll get this thing before we forget. Let's see what else is here. I have sitting here another relic. 50% damage against weakened enemies. I don't have anything that will weaken them. So let's go take it anyways. We might get something that will. That's an actual debuff where there, there's a shield, a broken shield. Oh, actually, you know what? If I parry them, then yes, that, that, that would weaken them. So uh, with the automatic parry, that might be worth it. Okay, so a relic or an upgrade. I say we go upgrade route. I, I haven't gotten two upgrades on a single weapon. So let's see what the options are. We're managing our corruption pretty well. Usually by this point, I'm like, like four curses because I'm just like spending corruption left and right. I'm like, whatever, dude. <laughs> Corrupt me up. I'm good. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, get my stamina up. There you go. Away. Yeah. Greek kill times two. Oh, get oh. <laughs> a little too far back. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Keep it alive. Oh, damn. I was just going to try to dodge out of that. Where's my automatic? Oh, I probably didn't have your stamina, actually. Oh, it's out of range. Jeez! This guy can teleport or something? What's he doing? Oh! I don't know what that is. It looks important, whatever it is. Ooh! Dang! Oh, I see. I see the pitch black here, right? Nope. Well, Game's trying to warn you. You cannot see. All right, let's see here. I got gold this time. Woo woo! So plus thirty percent damage. Hold on. I already have that. Okay, so it's not gonna upgrade it. Oh, the damage goes up. Um, oh, again, I guess there's another uh, increase. Look, twenty plus five, and now it's gonna be thirty three plus six. So it does upgrade it. For instance, say there was a damage on the darkness plus one damage per. per okay, this is pretty interesting. Plus one base damage per point of dexterity. This basically upgrades it from 30 plus 9 to a uh, plus 10 or something, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, gosh, do I use this thing enough? Yeah, sure. I think that's the wise choice, actually. Straight up damage increase. We can actually see what, it's, what it does. Let me see. 30 plus 9. Okay, so I already calculated it for you. So it's plus 9. I mean, I have 10 points of dexterity, but whatever. I guess. Okay, so boss time. Mid mid champion. Torch of sorrow. Uh oh, your torch loses its fire and lighting properties. It shines with a dark light, still revealing hidden traps. You no longer take extra damage to standing in the dark. Oh, this is awesome. We don't need the torch anymore. <laughs> I mean, obviously to reveal traps, but um, but yeah, we do more damage in the dark anyways. All right. Oh, this boss. Okay, so this is the first boss that you face uh, for this. Well, I wonder if he has any new moves. Oh, God, yeah. That's right. He has that crazy bullet hell thing. I got to keep an eye on his those attacks. Jeez. Oh, I can't light him on fire either, so I guess I can't at least put a dot on him. Oh, jeez! Here he comes! Oh! Gotta be a little careful. Here it comes again. Yep. Different pattern almost every time. Oh, gosh! So much corruption! Oh my god, so much. Oh, damn. Mastery. What? What, <laughs> what is this mastery? <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't say this earlier. I apologize. But yeah, bottom bottom uh, page, bottom of the page there, you see it says uh, you're in or out of the uh, of the darkness. Here we don't have much of a choice because the whole middle is eliminated. So we can't necessarily take advantage of our fighting in the darkness thing. Because uh, he's not going to make his way out here, so. Ooh. I love that it's a different patterns every time. Ah, oh, jeez. More corruption too. No. Okay, he's gonna flash and he's gonna do it. Ah, oh, just tired. Good dodge through that. Step over here, dog. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes, right here. Oh, oh. That was luck. Can't believe I dodged all that. 
I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it because I'm so close. I gotta, I gotta take it. There it is. Hope I get a heal after this. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. One of your relic slots is locked away when you gain three divine favors. Oh, hold up. I get to remove one? Well, I kind of like. Let's get rid of this, I guess. Curse lifted. Look at that. 30% uh, damage against weakened enemies plus three dexterity. Awesome. We'll take that. No longer have a relic slot that's locked. Uh, let's see, Venomous Fangs, a new main hand, plus 1% damage base per point dexterity, which is awesome. We have a lot of that, and it'll replace a stone hammer. Um, plus 20 critical damage. I, I think this is probably a no-brain. Let's take that. Ditch the hammer. Moving forward. Let's have a cool purple, purple, uh, oh, is there any health? Is there any health? Yeah. Mm, let's go this way. Cool purple to torch. To curse ourselves a little bit. The lust. Drink heartily from the fountain of warm life and ignore the salty taste. All regular healing effects are disabled except those coming from blood. Defeating enemies now releases blood instead of gold, restoring a portion of health. Blood quantity is increased by the kill counter and perception. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does that mean I don't get to heal right here, right now? Please tell me. Oh, okay, I, I still get this. Okay, good. This is going to top off. This might be the last time we get to heal for a while. Woo! It's getting interesting. Um, let's probably just go raw attributes and just see what we get from that. Gold is nice, but we don't need gold anymore. We just need blood. I'm scared. Tentacles. I guess there's no point in doing that either. Whoa, that guy's coming in hot. Whoa, what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, let's get back a little bit. See what we're dealing with. This is a lot. Then... Oh, this thing's dunk too? Oh! Oh, jeez. Blocked them both! The first one was auto blocked, so I can't really take credit for that. Ooh, 27 skulls too, baby. Woo! This is good progress. They're not stingy with these things. Hello. Come on, no, get closer. No! Oh, damn. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, look. Look at his... Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh. Oh, that double block. Woo! No! Yeah! This shit is awesome. Let me see. Gunsmith's manual. Relic neutral. 20% of dates damage or pistols. And then constitution. I get gold in exchange. Um, well, I guess plus two constitution is great. We're going to take that just to get that. Doesn't, it's not really worth it. Eh, eh, other than that. Let me see. What is this? Is that a door? It looks like a secret door. I'm liking this build so far. I could play this melee a little bit more, but it's fucking quick. God damn. Whoa. Done. Get out of the way from that. This guy's the fat boy version of the uh, other ones we encountered. Uh, he spawns too, that's why. Okay. Oh, shit. No, oh, cowboy! Stamina! You see how the stamina management is so hard! Yeah! Okay, so we can take him down right here. No! Oh gosh! Get! Get! Got! Yo! Bloodless times two. I'm not really keeping track of how much health we're actually getting from these guys. But I'm not dying, so that's, you know, 
<laughs> so yeah plus 10 percent damage plus 25 percent treasure find uh i'd say we just go for just the damage just damage the treasure find is great and all but right now i'm just interested in just doing work doing damage uh, let's see new weapon i think i'm good with the weapon set i have now let's go attributes let's see it's more dexterity I expected this to be a quick episode, man. I was like, yeah, I'll probably do two runs, like 50 minutes each. Now here we are. Like the badasses we are. Oh, oh, no block, no! You guys have faith, though. You knew, right? You're like, oh, it might be the... Oh, God, she's just gonna die right here. Never mind, shut up. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Have faith in me! Whoa! Whoa, it's another deck. Oh. Oh shit. Try, try to block that. Please die. <laughs> what is this? What do we drop? Another relic. Uh, plus two dexterity. Oh, we have to replace something now. Blasting through the door. Let me see. 30% of damage lightning attacks. Yeah, oh, base damage for swords. There you go. Perfect. We don't use that, so. Let's see. Plus 2% plus plus base damage per thousand gold carried up to 10 times. Wow. And plus two dexterity, so just straight up damage increase overall. Is there another exit over here? Yeah! Oh god! Okay, let's just go this way. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> oh got the trap right there. Let's get this thing. This thing was the biggest pain in the dick last time with these. Whoa. Oh, there's other guys over here. I was gonna say, I was like, this seems pretty light on enemies. Oh, oh! Light up again. Light up again. Light up again. Woo! Oh, okay, let's not fall for it, though. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Big boy, hold up. Our corruption is so high right now, about to get another curse. Go! Oh. Okay, let's see if we can do an opening attack on this guy from a distance here. Okay! What is he doing? What is, what is that? I don't know what that attack is. I keep running whenever I see that. And gets him. Good. Get close. Oh! Oh! God, I'm getting it! Oh! We should look at our stats at the end. Man, I'm getting some like actual critical block action here. I uh, see. Plus 250% mat, 250 mat, uh, health. Uh, and this one is very expensive, uh, but it gives me plus 10% of damage in that. So let's go ahead and spend our money on this. Just straight up more health. More damage would be great, but let's just spend our money. Okay, gold or relic? Um, relics are pretty good, but there's also a health on the other side of that. So let's go relic. And we're gonna get another curse now. Shadow flame. See, some Brazier is now burned with a dark flame and cannot be lit. Oh man, that's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. The game is just giving me, just giving it to me. I like it. Hello. Oh, oh, what a dodge. Get out. Good. Now, this big boy here. Come on, shell up. No. Oh, I was not budgeting for that. <laughs> See, cannot you cannot break those damn attacks. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Then gold around now. Nah, okay. Yeah, we're definitely getting a good return on. Oh, hold on. On health. Well, interesting. This is like, oh, cool. So we got two different ways. Well, we don't know what's on the other side of either one. So we'll just take one. 
a big dude there, little dude here. And there's a swirly bit over there. Let's push this guy into the swirly bit. Oh, that's the uh, Dark Brazier. Okay. Okay, charge it up. Oh! Explosion! Explosion again! Good! Oh! Stun! Just gonna take him. Oh, get out of the way! Oh, damn it! Oh, it's pinned! Oh, look at this thing. Each kill restores one stamina. 20% the chance to inflict lightning damage. Uh, I'm in the dark all the time. Oh, wow, that's a lot of extra damage, though. Just period. I'm at 39 right now, and that is 50. Oh, Jesus. Or 40, um, uh, 5. No, you know what? No, we're gonna stick with it. It's only, it's only, just, it's not that much. Let's go ahead and, uh, offer the gods. Oh, I should offer the other thing to the, oh, no, no, we, we swapped out. So, my is a corruption. I could use that discount there. There we go. What is this? A plus dexterity. Ooh, more dexterity, which is more damage. Weakened enemies. There's been weakened enemies. I say uh, we swap. Yeah, to this one. There we go. Now my stuff's gonna do a lot of damage, right? Let me see. Um, yeah, plus one. Yes, yeah, so fourteen plus eleven. And this is just straight up. Yeah. Okay. If we ever swap this weapon out, though, then, uh, I mean, look right here. Plus 52% damage. The bottom. Oh, it's 50 health per constitution, by the way. Whoops. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yes. What's the big one? What's your, uh, special... See that block? See that block? That was me. I promise some of these are me. Damn thing does not spot clock that often. I see all. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Not in a game like this. <laughs> I see all. I just get hit by some super obvious trap. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Okay, let's start this side here. Whoa! Crap. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, man, stamina. Oh, Jesus. Blow up. Blow up again. Go. Being able to use enemies' own offense abilities against themselves, or I guess like maybe it was a passive defense or something. Um, it's just so rewarding. So rewarding. And right, here we go. More corruption. Uh, heal super dimension when an enemy is killed by the environment. Oh, I feel like I do that all the time. Um, use favor. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, okay. That's what I... Okay, yeah. Three three favorite things. Yeah, yeah, I should use that. God, if I, how long has it been up there? Um, let me see. Minus 30% gold offering, plus 7 constitution. Wow, that's a lot of health. Uh, this one is plus nine dexterity. Oh. Okay, but heal seems to mess with when enemies kill by the environment. Oh, also, yo. And, and six. So, yeah, this is the way to go. So let's use our favor. Um. Oh, hold on. Did that give it to me? Oh, we we're swapping it out. Okay, I see. We're swapping it out for, uh. No? Hold on. Use favor. Uh oh. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's just swap it swapped. Oh, it swapped it. Oh, the favor just um reshuffles them. Dang it. Oh, I thought it was a freaking buy one, get one free card. Dang it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's go and use the last one. <laughs> it's a complete waste. But hey, we're learning together. Uh, I see 45% critical damage. That's pretty sick. Let me see what else we have. Uh, throwing weapons, don't have any. And then perception minus 20% blood offering cost. Okay. So I was going to offer blood for this. And we will replace... See, now we know the offer thing. Okay, I got it. I got it. So I'm sure it told me that in the in the on the thing. So we lost... Uh, which one was it? Let me see. Um, I think they were for 20% left. So let's see. Was there something else we could replace? Maybe... This one. Yeah, this one. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Decisions. Decisions. 
all the wrong ones. So I budgeted so we could go here and get some healing for in terms of corruption and not get another curse. But now we've earned a whole other curse worth of, uh, <laughs> of corruption. So it did not work out in my favor. Let me see. Speaking of fervor, see dark fervor. Corruption now passively increases over time. Oh boy. Going through a door no longer provokes corruption. Oh, jeez. Let's watch the bottom right corner and see what it does. Does it not count here? Miles will top this off best we can. Okay, gold. No choice. Here we go. Let's try not to rack up too much more. Bloodlust. There's a bunch of dudes over here. Gonna be over here? Yes. Oh, damn, he's charging that up too. Wait, hold on a second. What was over here then? There's a ton of gold. Can I slap? Ah. Okay, they'll blow each other up. Lots of bloodlust action too. Lots of health for that. Sick. Breakaway walls. Some golds chilling over here. Some gold chilling over here. Big boy over there. Yeah, big boy. Another two big boys. Oh boy. Oh, is that poison in the area too? Oh snap. That's painful. What's going on? Oh yeah, let's get some attacking going because I'm taking damage. Come on. Okay, let's get all this gold. We may not need it, actually, but still. So yeah, there must be like a haze of um of poison over there that's just difficult to see. So we'll move on. We don't have to, you know, if the doors are open, we can just move on. We don't have necessarily have to go over there and fight those other two guys. Run like a bitch. That's right. Yo! Oh, whiff. <sighs> See, just like Hades, we'll just, just hack and slash our way through that one. And another relic, 15% critical damage, plus two constitution. Uh, it's not really gonna... No, no. Oh, we're kind of at the last point here, right? The last next one is the damn the final champion. So maybe it does make sense to swap this guy out. As so long as we don't take any corruption damage from here and there, because we're gonna get 20 when we walk through the door. Son of a bitch! I forgot about the door thing. Yeah, we're forgot we're just taking damage, taking uh, corruption six as we go. I wanna take this guy out quickly, quick, quick, quick. Nope. Okay. Let him jump over here, what he was gonna do. Oh, I thought that swing would give me enough distance. Get some clutch blocks, go! Oh. oh! This guy, go! You, go! Bloodlust, health, gimme, gimme, gimme. I feel like I missed one of these chests back there. Uh, patches. <laughs> it's just the same way, but it doesn't matter because it's useless now, right? So we'll go ahead and offer to the gods and get plus two perception. There we go. Here it is. So we're going to get the final curse, by the way. Oh, we have one more room after this. Oh, crap. Well, I would have that anyways. All right, so we won't get cursed in this room, but we will get cursed in the next room. As we walk into the final boss, the final curse, which is great in terms of demonstration purposes, like you guys will be able to see. And also, it's my first time getting five. We'll be able to see what the fifth and final curse is, because apparently it's supposed to be really, really bad. Get this guy down. Oh, good. Dodge. Nope. Okay. 
Ooh, baby. Whoa. Push one of the poison back there, right? No? Oh, even after my dodge, man, you messed up my perfect run there. Okay, I'm taking poison damage now. I keep forgetting those guys basically live in poison, so it's like, whatever. Okay, any chests over here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Any, any last anything you want to give me before I go into this final fight? The game's just waiting. Look at the bottom right corner, blinking. It's like waiting to give it to me. It's like, come on, you know you want this. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, upgrade again, upgrade this again, 25%, let's see, 20 percent damage against uh, uninjured enemy enemies. That's going to be useless in, the, in this next room, so let's go ahead and spend it on this. Offer gold. Here we go. Final boss, tier two. Oh, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Okay, I did. Uh, I, I think when you have weapons or something like that, you could buy them and, and maybe swap them out after they drop. Anyways, so let's not make any stupid mistakes on this run, huh? I can see the comments. <laughs> Here we go. Fifth. That word, truth. Health drops over time until. Oh. Dude. Oh my god. All right. Go. 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 Oh, this guy's cool looking. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's quick. Oh, I just, just, just ran out of stamina there. I gotta, I gotta save my stamina here. Nice. Oh, oh, stamp. Oh my god. Oh, that was just killer! Oh, man! Oh! God, trying to act and block through that is so hard! Oh, successful parries! 24! See, I was doing a lot. Let's just say 25% of those were from the uh, from the shield, okay? We'll go and I'll give you guys that. But, 93% new record! Playtime, 31 minutes! Uh, I feel like it was longer than that. <laughs> Gold collected, new record, crystal skulls collected, jade rings collected. So we did get a lot of stuff. So Rat Ratiapu, the abomination, uh, killed me. Um, probably would have been all right if I didn't get that final curse, but you know. But you know. So now you go back to the beginning, and it starts off the same way that we started off this episode. You go and you spend some some crystal skulls, uh, and oh, look at this! Light and darkness, light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases overall damage you take. Hold on a second, this is just like, uh, oh, this is. No, I just stand. Why is it giving me all this stuff again? Okay, well I've already done all this. <laughs> anyway, so. That is that. Curse of the Dead Gods, a very, very good and very awesome take on the uh, action RPG genre. The Hades likes, uh, as we will soon uh, come to know them, similar to Souls likes. Um, but worth the pick up for sure. Definitely if it's on sale. My name is Mike BAK Phony, Curse of the Dead Gods. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll see ya.